Hey guys, Blitzball Champ back here with a brand new video here on the U to the Tube. All right, week seven, the NFL season is pretty much in the books. Once again, Carolina suffers another heartbreaking close loss to the New Orleans Saints by the score of 27 to 24. Um, uh, there is there is quite a, a good bit to say about this game, but just could not get it done. Um, I don't know what it is, but let's let's just let's just go through it. Teddy Bridgewater had one of his best games so far this season, one of his best. Uh. 23 of 28, 254 yards, two touchdowns, got sacked once, but had a QBR of 82.6, a rating of 128.3. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, he looked good. He looked really good. Our run game struggled like crazy. Mike Davis, seven carries, 12 yards. Uh, Trenton Cannon, one carry, seven yards. Bridgewater, two rushes, 10 yards. Curtis Samuel did have a, a rushing touchdown, but the run game was, was terrible. Like, I mean, it was pretty much non-existent. So that really, really struggled this game. Um, the passing game did pretty well. Uh, DJ Moore had a 74-yard uh, touchdown reception. Um, he had two. He had two touchdowns, but um, his longest was a 74-yarder. Um, Robbie Anderson did pretty well. Um, you know, Bridgewater was was spreading the ball pretty well in this game. But when I think about the offense of this game. When it really comes down to it, just in those key, key moments where it, when it matters the most, Carolina just cannot come through on offense. Whether it's play calling or whether it's you know a turnover or just overall execution, they just... They just fall apart. You know, on that, on their last offensive possession, you know, gave up a sack. The protection, you know, wasn't good and just gave up a really, really bad sack. And just, you know, the, the play calling. Just the offense just doesn't do a good job in high pressure situations. So it, it was just unfortunate. And it really costed us an opportunity to really take the lead and potentially win this game. Um, I got to give credit to, to Joey Sly for attempting that 65-yard field goal. Even though it was a shy bit short, it was a straight kick, and he almost made it. He almost made it. But we can't put that on Sly. We can't put that on Sly. For folks to say, you know, oh, Sly had one job. He should have made that field. Y'all can't put that on Sly. A 65-yarder, y'all can't put that on him. Let's let's be real. Let's be real. Um, The defense. Um, Carolina's defense... I mean, it's another one of those where the Carolina defense just is not, it's not consistent. They're not consistent. They may occasionally make a big play, which they did in this game, getting the strip sack. Um, I believe it was Brian Burns with the strip sack. But they're not the defense is not a threat. Let's just let's just keep it real. 
the defense is not a threat. So, and it showed early in the first half. And the thing with Drew Brees, you can't get no pressure. Drew Brees is going to make plays. As I said in the preview video, 29 of 36, 287 yards, two touchdowns, including a rushing touchdown. We did a terrible job stopping the run. Alvin Kamara, 14 carries, 83 yards. Latavius Murray, 11 carries, 47 yards. I mean, we just, I mean, and Alvin Kamara. Here's the thing, here's the thing with that. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they had no Emmanuel Sanders. They had no Michael Thomas. Oh, we should have. We should have crushed them with the defense. Uh, they still have Alvin Kamara. They still have Drew Brees. And as it showed, Drew Brees was able to get the ball out to his receivers because the pressure was lackluster. Not to mention, when you have all that and you can't stop and get off the field, on a third and 14 and just you just let Alvin Kamara just just easily easily get the first down defense is not good now I'll give credit where credit's due they did not give up a touchdown in the second half they gave up two field goals so they did come out better the second half but still was not enough and the Saints didn't punt not one single time in this game. That says something. I understand that this is a young defense, but it's really starting to show its age and its inexperience. People like... You know, my my opinion, you know, the D-line is a liability. Tahir Whitehead is a huge liability. And so is the secondary. You know, if I look at how the defense is now, I feel like the two best players on defense right now are Jeremy Chen and uh, Brian Burns. If I could be real with you. But the game was close. It was pretty much a shootout, especially in the first half. But ultimately, this was a heartbreaking loss. And Carolina's now three and four, one and two in the division. This was a division game. But It's, it's just, it's looking like Carolina just are not good at handling high-pressure situations where, where the game is on the line. So, it's really unfortunate. And this is, this is going to hurt. This will definitely hurt. And another, another important thing, they desperately, I'm going to just be real with y'all, they desperately need Christian McCaffrey back. They really do. They need that spark, that extra spark again. I mean, Mike Davis, he can only do but so much, and I'm not saying he hasn't done a bad job, but they need, they need some sort of spark. And having Christian McCaffrey, I think, would really help. And on defense, just, I don't know if they try to play for a, a trade to get a, a defensive back or look to, I don't know. 
the Earl Thomas or look to somebody to really give this defense a boost, but this defense needs a boost in, in a big way. And otherwise, this defense is just going to keep getting abused by every team that they go against. Plain and simple as that. Um, next game is uh, against the Falcons, and apparently it's a Thursday night game. So, short week, and they have to go back home Thursday night against the Falcons, who they have beaten uh, a few weeks ago, but they're going to want revenge. They're going to want revenge, and I know they lost again today, but it's another division game. It's to be taken serious. You know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, this will this will be easy. They'll bounce back easily. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. This is a division game. Anything can happen in a division game. So I'm taking this really serious and with some concern. Because that's two losses in a row. The two close games. And it's only going to get harder because after the Falcons game, it's the Chiefs and the Bucks. Yeah, it's going to get harder. But just really an unfortunate loss. And like I said, Teddy Bridgewater, he played great. One of his best games. And just, it just came up short. It just came up short. So, if anything, I'm just hoping that you know, as many of the folks that are hurt will get healthy. But like I said, it's, it's, it's a short week. It's a short week. So, yeah. Here, here's hoping that they can turn things around and uh, get this next, next win. They, they need it. They really, really need it. But, anyway... Um, what did y'all, what are y'all's thoughts on in this game? Uh, what did y'all see that you feel that can be improved on? Or just your overall thoughts of this game. But Carolina drops to three and four, one and two in the NFC South. But, um, they play the Falcons next, back at home. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, sub subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching. This is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram signing off. Everybody have a blessed week, and I'll see y'all soon. Laters.